Hello, friends of Wayne Pulson. This is Cousin Eddie. I'm Cousin Wayne's cousin. And um, I'm back again, folks. I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm in the area. Uh, I was gone for a little while. I was traveling all around uh, the world and stuff. And, um, and now I'm back and, and I'm enjoying some time with my, my family and friends. So, And uh, Cousin Wayne said, hey, Eddie, do you know anything new? He said, what's new, Cousin Eddie? And I said, well, I said, I learned something new. Uh, I have a new knot to share with people. Um, I, I learned this knot. It's really not a knot. It's really a kind of a hitch, if you know what I'm saying. You know what a hitch is. A hitch is not a knot. Now, I don't know what this rope is for here, but uh, it's really annoying me. So, so I was riding with him to the other side of the parking lot on his bicycle, and we hit the curb, and I fell right out of the basket onto the, onto the road in front of us, and the sidewalk, I mean. And uh, what the heck am I talking about? I don't know what I was saying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused, folks, because, you know, I haven't had any sleep. I work hard all the time. I do. I work hard. I work every hour of the day, and I very, barely ever have time to, like, just, you know, think about sleeping. So, so sometimes I get a little bit distracted, if you know what I'm saying. So I was talking about somebody. I don't know. Did I mention Patrick? He's my buddy up in Canada. He has a YouTube channel that uh, is pretty popular. He teaches all kinds of cool things, like, I mean, how to open cans of meatloaf with your little finger. Uh, he can teach you how to make popcorn um, with a cigarette lighter. And um, I have made bean sprouts um, in beer cans. They, you know, you can just grow them that way. And then he has other things too that are even practicaler, practicaler, uh, practicaler, more practical. Um, there are things he does with ropes and stuff like that. I mean, those of us who are in tree service, you know, we're always using ropes. We always do because you have to. Yeah, I mean, you can't climb a tree without a rope. And I don't know if you, maybe you could, but I don't know. I'm not going to try it because I need a rope. Uh, I do. And sometimes, you know, you're bringing branches out of a tree. Sometimes you need a rope on those branches. Otherwise, they just fall like crazy. Hey, and they just hit the ground and break up or they hit something or somebody and you just can't have that happening. You need ropes. You do. You got to have ropes. So, you know, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So cousin Wayne. Oh no, Patrick, my buddy, Patrick in Canada. So on that YouTube channel, he has educated climber. He does all kinds of things like that. And here's something I learned from him. This is if you want to send a rope up to a friend in a tree, like, Hey friend, are you up there? Yeah, I'm up here. Can you please send me that orange rope down there? See, he wants a rope, friends. So when somebody in a tree asks you for a rope, there's a lot of ways you could do it. I mean, you could just sort of, you know, I don't know, do crazy things like this. You know, and just say, okay, there's your rope, buddy. And then when he gets it up in the tree, he's like, That was a lot of work. I burned a lot of calories. And I'm a tree climber. I burn calories like crazy, hey? I can't afford to be burning calories on tying knots. So, you know, as a ground person, you need to know how to do this, hey? So here's what you do. This is called a quick hitch. It's easy to tie, folks. That's why it's called quick. And it's a hitch because it hitches one rope to another. And the beauty of this thing, folks, is that when your climber gets it up there, he can easily untie it with one motion. Let me show you. So you take his rope, you form a bite like that. You just hold that right there. You take the rope that you want to send up to him. You put it over your hand like that. See what we got here? We got a bite and we got the rope that we want to send up over my hand like that. You reach through this hole right here. Reach through this hole, go around the back side of the rope you want to send, grab the free end, 
and pull it back through the loop. Tighten all this up and folks, it's ready to go up to your climber. Hey climber, are you ready? I got the rope attached, hey? Yeah, thank you, Cousin Eddie. I will pull it up right now. And so he pulls his rope, he pulls his rope, he pulls his rope, but he gets it up here like this. He goes, wow, this looks complicated. And then I look up at him and say, oh no, it's not. It's not complicated at all. All you do is you pull this little free end right here and it'll just come out. He goes, okay. I mean, he goes, okay, I'll try it. So here we go. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, folks. It's such a time saver. You have got to learn this because it is honestly a miracle. Watch again, folks. I'll do it one more time. Make a loop in this rope. Take this rope and put it over your hand like that. Reach through this loop like this. Go behind that rope. Grab this free end right here. Pull them tight together like that. Look at this, look at this. Your climber pulls it up. He gets it up here like this and he goes, I love you, man. I love you, man, with all my heart. You saved me precious calories. You saved me precious calories. So there you are, folks. I, I'm so proud of knowing Patrick, my friend up there in Canada. I have much respect for that man. He's a good man, so. I'll put a link to his video right here, how to send up saws and ropes or something like that. There it is right up there. You guys have a fun time, okay? And I think Cousin Wayne wanted me to say, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, no matter what. If you don't like it, you gotta hit the like button because the that like button doesn't work or something like that. And then um, also there's a bell there and that bell is really cool too, it's like magic. When you click on that bell, it allows you to get messages sent to your phone or your computer uh, every time Cousin Wayne puts up a video. Now, I don't do that. I don't put videos up. It's child's play, folks. Everyone can do it. There's nothing to it. But for that reason, I just don't because it's like... Anybody can do that. I like to spend my time learning like really in-depth quality things, you know what I'm saying? Things that will change your life for an eternity. So friends, as I sing to you from the mountaintops of Tennessee, as I watch the eagle fly in the northern sky, as I see it land in the pines of Hawaii, I sometimes wonder to myself, what am I talking about?